It's not quite up there with the 1947 Roswell incident, but the cow mutilations of the 70s remain one of New Mexico's biggest mysteries. Now there's a new book about it, and the author says he knows exactly what happened to all those cows. News 13's Amanda Goodman has the story. Amanda? Jess, the book was written by the son of the lead New Mexico State Police investigator. A warning, some of the images are graphic. A lot of the cattle were found with broken bones. They were found with harness marks that, because they were being lifted in some type of harness or clamp marks on their hooves or legs. That was life for ranchers in northern New Mexico in the mid to late 1970s. Cows were turning up dead, their carcasses mutilated, and no one knew why. People need to know what really happened and hopefully this book will set the record straight. Greg Valdez is the author of Dulce Base, a new book about the cow mutilations. His dad, Gabe Valdez, was the lead investigator on the case for state police back in the 70s. The book is made up of his old case files. The evidence in the book will show um, that humans were involved in the mutilations. Officer Valdez's theory that government agencies were snatching the cattle for super secret Cold War experiments at an underground base in Dulce. Ranchers would routinely see them at night, you know, before they went to bed, and then the next morning they would find them dead in the field or the pasture. Officer Valdez believed these government agencies returned the cattle to perpetuate the theory that aliens were responsible to shield themselves from suspicion. The more people look in the wrong direction and towards aliens and stuff that's not supported by evidence, no one will ever be held accountable and it will just be a mystery. It's a move Valdez's son says has worked for the last four decades and something he hopes the book will put an end to. Someone has should be held accountable. Some of the other theories about what happened to the cattle included alien abductions, that the cows simply died of natural causes and predators were responsible for the mutilation. Valdez says all evidence suggests humans were the ones responsible. Jess. Okay, Amanda, Gabe Valdez died two years ago. His son says he doesn't think the government will ever own up to what really happened.